Okay, so today we are going to start a new chapter of chemical kinetics that is techniques and methods used to determine the rate and order of a chemical reaction and uh, traditional methods uh, the experimental data is stipulated that is concentration versus time pair this data is substituted in uh, a particular rate law equation to calculate the rate constant for each concentration time pair in this way several rate laws can be tried and only the correct rate law will give a constant value that is the consistency and the rate constant and uh, this will be the applicable rate constant equation or rate law equation for this particular reaction although there are some errors however it is impossible to distinguish between the experimental error where the error in the data is so much that it make it difficult to determine the applicable concentration function so we don't know that which uh, rate law equation is applicable or uh, to which uh, order uh, this particular reaction belongs because there are sometimes too much error and the difference in the actual reading is so minor uh, for this reason uh, we can uh, apply different rate law equation in order to make sure that uh, this particular reaction belongs to uh, the, the a particular order and uh, we can uh, write down a specific rate constant equation in term of rate constant and order so the following are several methods available to determine the order or the rate constant of a particular reaction uh, among them the first one is the half-life method uh, as the name indicate uh, we uh, find the general equation for the half-life in term of initial concentration and order we already drew this in the introductory chapter that is the half life is equal to 2 power n minus 1 and this is minus 1 divided by n minus 1 this is k rate constant and this is initial concentration raise n minus 1 we are this n and k are constant uh, we can uh, rearrange this equation in other form that uh, half life is equal to 1 over uh, initial concentration for is n uh, minus 1 and this is these are the constant terms that is n and k and uh, other are 2 so these are actually the function of k and n just taking the log of this equation to uh, both sides so after taking the log of half life and the other terms so we have this denominator when go up so the power become minus and this is log of n and k a plot of uh, log of initial concentration of log of initial concentration versus time will give a straight line with a slope is equal to minus n minus 1 so from this we can uh, calculate the value of order so in this way we can uh, tabulate the half life of the initial concentration that is initial concentration divided by 2 initial concentration divided by 4 and this is these are different half life alternatively we can do that uh, two separate experiment can be performed by taking the initial two different initial concentrations with the two different half lives that is t1 and t half 2 for, for the first, first experiment 
for the first experiment we can write down the rate law equation the half law life uh, equation that is 1 is equal to 1 over inverse initial concentration n minus 1 for the second we can write uh, down modify the equation just substituting in the subscript 2 now we can take the ratio of the first half life to to the second half life so this ratio we can take the ratio and from this ratio after rearranging we can take out this n and just transferring this initial concentration to different to another side so we have this n minus 1 and uh, after transferring this minus 1 to another side so we have plus 1 and uh, this is the log of first half life this is log of second half life this is uh, initial concentration second minus first initial concentration or just rearranging uh, just putting the value in this equation we can determine the order of a particular chemical reaction uh, here is an example you have to solve this example uh, this is nitric oxide so for nitric oxide uh, the first half life for this uh, uh, the concentration is uh, shown uh, given in term of partial pressure that is uh, 366 millimeter Hg and the half life is 10108 second uh, the second half life uh, is given uh, this is initial uh, concentration of partial pressure this is 147 second the initial rate method uh, as the name indicate the method involves measuring the initial rate of a chemical reaction so the initial rate is some kind of uh, the change in uh, concentration with respect to time dc over dt so this is giving us the rate Consider a general uh, chemical reaction in which reactant A combined with reactant B and giving us product. The rate of this reaction can be given as by this rate law equation where M plus N is the sum of exponent in the uh, rate law expression will give us order of the reaction. Uh, using a known initial concentration of A that is N0 and uh, known uh, concentration of B that is B0 then the rate can be determined graphically so this is the initial concentration of reactant and this is the time so from this we can determine the from the slope uh, the rate of the reaction that is dx over dt so this give us the rate of the reaction so this is the now we consider this initial rate can be given as if you take uh, the first initial concentration uh, similarly the variation in the rate can be seen by varying choosing a different initial concentration of either reactants or both we can uh, change one reactant or we can change simultaneously both reactant to see the effect on the rate such as in this particular case we are doubling the initial concentration of A and B and we want to see what is the effect on the rate so for this particular case we can write down this rate law for the initial concentration in which we double the initial concentration of A and B while the order is the same here in the exponent so we can take now the ratio of 2 to 1 so this second one in which we double the initial concentration so we can take the ratio of this equation 2 to 1 so just taking the ratio uh, you can see from here uh, this K is the same can constant and this initial concentration is same constant in both so these will cancel each other after rearranging 
So we have the in the denominator only the term that is higher that is the 2 the double the initial concentration. So this two term will remain and just can taking one common base. So this two is common and you can see here m plus n uh, this is the order from where we started that the order is the same but now you can see there so we are going to give an example but from here it is also clear that the ratio of the order this higher concentration to load that we increase the concentration two times so the order become two times so the order is something like uh, directly proportional to the initial concentration so if we are increasing the initial concentration so we have the order become double now we can go to a general example that is when reactant A combined with B so the rate law for this particular reaction is K is rate constant and this is A power alpha and B power beta so this gives us the, the exponent gives us the order overall order or with respect to A alpha and with respect to B beta so now we have an experimental data in which we have this trial or run number one in which the initial concentration of A is 0 0.01 and initial concentration of B is 0 0.01 so both are same initial concentration and by putting these initial concentration uh, experimental rate law is found at 0 0.0347 in this first and uh, this is the unit concentration for time now in the second trial they increase the initial concentration of A that is double so as we see from our previous uh, calculation that when we increase the concentration double so the rate should double and we can see here that we got the rate double so there is nothing new the order is the same with respect to A so only we double the concentration in the red double so there is nothing uh, increase in the exponent so this is first order with respect to a now you can see in the third run the initial concentration of a is remain the same we keep the same and the concentration of b is double now you can see the rate of this particular reaction so the rate is 0 0.2776 if we uh, divide this 0 0.2776 by this in which we in which we have uh, this is uh, the initial concentration of B uh, we double here so if we divide this third reading by this second reading so we are getting core that is uh, the rate of this reaction uh, increases four times so now this taking this uh, uh, we can come here that in the first case when we double the initial concentration of A so the rate become double so but the exponent remain the same so the order with respect to A is 1 because the alpha value is 1 in the second case when we double the initial concentration we got uh, this rate four times so the four time is actually coming at the rate double because the one is coming from the initial concentration and this square when we are taking square so this become four times the rate become four times with respect to b so here the rate already double because the concentration is double so these are direct proportion but here this become four times because this beta value one. so this become two so this was the rate first order with respect to A and it is second order with respect to B overall order of this reaction is 3 similarly uh, K value can be calculated by putting <coughs> any value of uh, reading from 1, 2, 3 so any value we can put this pair and uh, putting this rate corresponding to this pair so we can calculate the rate constant value and the rate constant value should be the same 
irrespective of putting the value. So this rate comes to calculated that is 3.47 and 10 raise 4 per second and overall order of this reaction is 3. Similarly another example is the reaction between hydrogen and bromine. So this is pro producing hydrogen bromide and these are different readings taken from the experiment such as in the first uh, trial it is uh, the initial concentration is taking 0.02 and it's for bromine that is 0.02 so this is our standard first run so the rate initial rate calculated that is 2 and 10 raise minus 3 now in the second raise run the initial concentration of hydrogen is remain the same but the bromine is increased that is double so you can see the rate double so the rate is proportional to the initial concentration so there is actually no increase in the order so this is first order with respect to bromine now you can see that when the hydrogen concentration is increased three times so the rate while keeping the bromine concentration the same so the rate actually you can see if you divide uh, this third rate by this uh, first rate so we are getting 9 so the rate uh, increase almost 9 times so this 9 times because we have uh, here is 3 and here should be 3 the rate but this power is coming from the order so this is second power uh, second order with respect to this shows that this reaction is second order with respect to hydrogen and first order with respect to bromine also using the rate constant value and for all we should get a constant value for the rate constant now we are going to uh, another method that is differential method or logarithmic method because at the end we are taking logarithm on both sides this is also known as want of differential method because the method was given by want of scientist name is the rate of a reaction of n order is proportional to the n power of concentration we already know this or in other form we can write down this rate law expression that is the change in concentration with respect to time that is the concentration is decreasing so now for two different initial concentration that is C1 and C2 we can write down this general rate law equation number one for first initial concentration that is C1 uh, the rate is given as R1 and for the second initial concentration the rate is given as R2 now taking log of both sides and after rearranging so we got for the first uh, initial concentration equation this equation and for the second initial concentration so this can be solved by taking the ratio of the rate constant that is r1 divided by r2 or we can subtract in the log form uh, that uh, r1 minus r2 so this will automatically come in the division form after solving so this is the a rate con uh, rate of first initial concentration minus log of rate of second initial concentration and this is rate constant same uh, positive and negative will cancel with each other uh, this is first initial concentration minus second initial concentration taking in common after rearranging uh, we got this order that is n is equal to log r1 divided by r2 divided by log r c1 divided by c2 second initial concentration so from this we can determine the order of a particular reaction and this is a very general expression now we are coming to an example a real example of mixed mixed order reaction that is a reactant a combined with b and this is some kind of mixed complex reaction so the rate law expression for this particular reaction is given by this expression where m and n they represent the order of the reaction so now we can determine the 
order with respect to A and B separately and just adding the M and N. So the overall order for this particular reaction can be determined. And how we are doing this? We can do this by keeping A B constant and determining the order with respect to A. So we can find the M value and later on in the second step we can keep the A constant and determining the order with respect to B just pairing the initial concentration of B and determining the order which is value of N and the overall order we can determine by adding M and N in the same way we can put the value of the rate and the initial concentration and the order value we can determine the value of rate constant so just stating, uh, starting with the first step with the two uh, initial concentration of reactant A and just keeping reactant B constant that is A1 and A2 are used to find the rate R1 and R2 so R1 is equal to given from the general rate law expression and similarly R2 can be given from the same expression now we can take the ratio of R1 to R2 in the same way as this general rate expression so that is the ratio of and the rate constant will be cancelled because and uh, initial first initial concentration divided by second initial concentration now taking log of both sides so we got the same expression as we got in the first case the general expression so from this we can find the value of M that is the order with respect to A in the same way we can uh, repeat the procedure for determining order with respect to B such as we can find the value of N just keeping the A constant and uh, taking the two different initial concentration of B and the overall order of this reaction can be given as M plus N now here I have given a very simple example that is the time of a particular reaction uh, different interval and this is the initial concentration variation with respect to time so these are the time concentration pair so you have to plot this uh, concentration on y axis and time on x axis so you will get uh, uh, you will get a straight line so in some way you will get uh, a straight line that is on y axis you will take concentration and on x axis you will take time and uh, these are time variation and this is concentration so you will get a uh, straight line with negative slope and from this you will find the value of dc or dt at different time interval here 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 so this slope and at this slope then you have to find uh, to plot against uh, this dc or dt you have to plot against concentration because you already know that the rate is equal to uh, dx or dt so that is negative is equal to k and this is the concentration if uh, a is going to product so from this uh, you can find this uh, this value from the slope and uh, then you can plot this slope against this concentration so from this you can find the order and also the rate constant value because the order can be found from the slope of this plot so slope will give you order of this reaction and the intercept will give you the k value so this you have to give a try and just think about it uh, what will be the proper way to solve this problem this particular problem so this is a very simple problem I want to see that how you try
to and if you have any question then you can ask but first you have to give a try by yourself to find the value of n and the value of k 